Hello everyone, I am Sandip, your guide for today. Come, let's embark on a remarkable journey to the verdant landscapes of the United Kingdom, where lie the intriguing Cern Abbas giant and other impressive chalk figures. These aren't just whimsical drawings etched into the earth, they are majestic symbols of history and culture etched across the canvas of time. Nestled in the heart of the English countryside, these figures have captured the imaginations of locals and tourists alike for centuries. Today, we'll delve into the stories that surround these larger-than-life figures, explore their geographical locations, and unearth some fascinating facts that make these chalk figures more than mere hillside attractions. From the enigmatic Sir Nabas giant to the mysterious Longman of Wilmington, we're about to discover the rich tapestry of lore and legend that these figures hold. Prepare yourself for a journey into the heart of the English countryside where these fascinating figures reside. Our first stop is the Kern Abbas giant. Nestled in the heart of Dorset, a county replete with rolling hills and quaint villages, there lies a figure of colossal proportions, the Cerne Abbas giant. This chalk figure etched into the hillside stands a colossal 180 feet tall, making it one of the largest representations of the human form worldwide. The origin of the Cern Abbas giant is shrouded in mystery. Some believe it to be an ancient symbol of spirituality, dating back thousands of years. Others speculate that it may be a caricature of Oliver Cromwell, a figure of both reverence and ridicule during the 17th century English Civil War. A more recent theory suggests that it was created in the late 17th century as a parody of the then Lord Hollis, a local landowner. Adding to the enigma, the giant has a notable feature a large club measuring 121 feet in length. This has led to various interpretations. One theory suggests it represents Hercules, the Roman adaptation of the Greek divine hero Heracles, known for his strength and far-ranging adventures. Others argue that the club is a symbol of fertility, as folklore has it that women wishing to conceive would spend a night on the hillside. Regardless of its origins, the Kern Abbas giant is a testament to the rich history of the region. It has been a subject of fascination, study and debate among historians, archaeologists and tourists alike. Despite being centuries old, the giant is far from forgotten. The local community takes pride in its upkeep, ensuring it remains visible and impactful for future generations. Every seven years, locals participate in a re-chalking event, preserving the giant's bold outline against the green backdrop of the hill. No matter its origin, the Kerna Abbas giant is a sight to behold and a testament to the rich history of the region. Next, we move on to the Uffington White Horse. An iconic figure etched into the rolling hills of Oxfordshire, this majestic chalk figure has captured the imagination of generations. The Uffington White Horse, stretching over 110 meters in length, is not merely a geoglyph. It's a grand tapestry woven with tales of a bygone era. The horse, in all its splendor, gallops across the lush green canvas of the English countryside, an embodiment of ancient artistry and mystery. And what about its origins, you ask? Ah, the history of the Uffington White Horse is as captivating as its presence. It is believed to date back to the Bronze Age, making it over 3,000 years old. Yes, you heard right, 3,000. Its creation is a topic of debate among historians, with theories ranging from religious significance to a tribute to a Celtic horse goddess, Epina. Such is the allure of the Uffington White Horse, shrouded in an enigmatic blend of history and folklore. Now let's talk about a unique tradition tied to this chalk figure, the Scouring Event. This event, held every seven years, sees the local community coming together to give the horse a facelift. They clean and restore the chalk figure, ensuring its beauty endures the test of time. The Scouring Event is not just about maintenance, though. It's a celebration, a festival with games, storytelling and a sense of camaraderie that binds the community together. The Uffington White Horse is more than an ancient chalk figure. It's a testament to the human spirit, the desire to create, and the will to preserve. It's a symbol of the community's shared history, a silent storyteller whispering tales of the past into the wind. It's a beacon that has stood the test of time, a beacon that continues to inspire and intrigue. And so, as we gaze upon the Uffington White Horse, we are reminded of our connection to the past, the stories we share and the traditions we carry forward. The Uffington White Horse is more than just a chalk figure, it's a symbol of community and shared history. 
Our journey continues with the Longman of Wilmington. In the heart of East Sussex, among the rolling green hills, stands a figure that has intrigued and perplexed spectators for centuries. The Longman of Wilmington. An imposing figure, the Longman is 235 feet in height, etched into the chalk hillside. With a staff in each hand, he gazes out over the landscape, an impressive and somewhat eerie sentinel of the South Downs. The size of this chalk figure is truly a sight to behold, a testament to the effort and skill of the people who first created him. But who were these people and when was the Long Man created? Ah, uh, now that's where the mystery begins. The origin of the Long Man of Wilmington is shrouded in uncertainty. Some believe he dates back to the Iron Age or even earlier, while others suggest he may be a product of the medieval period. The truth, however, remains elusive. The Long Man has long been a subject of folklore and has inspired numerous theories. Some see him as a symbol of ancient fertility rites, while others believe he represents a Roman soldier. There are even those who think he might be an early English rendition of Hercules. The folklore is as varied and intriguing as the figure himself, contributing to the enigma that surrounds him. The Long Man of Wilmington is a testament to the rich tapestry of history and culture that Britain offers. Whether you're a history buff, a lover of mysteries, or simply someone who appreciates the beauty and intrigue of ancient art, the Long Man is a must-see. The enigma of the Long Man of Wilmington, his silent vigil over the Sussex landscape, and the mystery of his origin all add to his charm and draw visitors from far and wide. He stands as a testament to the past, a reminder of the mysteries that history often leaves in its wake and a symbol of the stories that are yet to be told. The enigma of the Long Man of Wilmington adds to its charm and draws visitors from far and wide. Finally, we reach the Bulford Kiwi. Tucked away in the chalky hills of Wiltshire, England, lies a hidden gem. A giant bird etched into the earth, a spectacle of historical significance and a source of awe for those who witness it. This is the Bulford Kiwi. The Bulford Kiwi is not your average chalk figure. For starters, it's massive. Stretching over 130 yards from head to tail, it's a sight that truly captivates. But it's not just the size that leaves an impression. It's the remarkable story behind it. Picture this. It's the end of the brutal First World War. New Zealand troops, who had journeyed halfway across the world to fight, find themselves waiting in Bulford camp. They're unable to return home due to a shortage of ships, so they're stuck, far from the comforts of home lodged in the heart of a foreign land. But they don't let despair take over. Instead, they channel their energy into creating something that would stand as a testament to their resilience, their camaraderie, and their longing for home. They create the Bulford Kiwi. Under the guidance of Sergeant Major Percy Cecil Blencon, a sketch of a Kiwi, the national symbol of New Zealand, is drawn. With the help of the soldiers, the sketch is transferred onto the chalk hillside. This involved moving and cutting tons of chalk. The result? A magnificent kiwi, visible from miles away, a beacon of hope and a symbol of unity. Today, the Bulford Kiwi continues to hold its place on Beacon Hill. Weather and time have done little to erase this remarkable piece of history. It stands as a testament to the spirit of those New Zealand soldiers a memento of their time spent in a land far from home. The Bulford Kiwi is a poignant reminder of a time of conflict and the camaraderie of soldiers far from home. It's a tribute to the human spirit, to the ability to create beauty even in the most trying of times. It's a story etched not just in chalk, but in the annals of history. And that concludes our journey through the chalk figures of the UK. We've walked the length and breadth of the Kern Abbas giant, marveling at the audacious depiction of a club-wielding titan etched into the landscape. We've flown over the Offington White Horse, a prehistoric masterpiece that's been galloping across the chalk hills for over 3,000 years. We've stood beneath the Long Man of Wilmington, a mysterious figure that has puzzled historians and archaeologists for centuries, and we've saluted the Bulford Kiwi, a touching tribute from soldiers stationed far from home. Each of these chalk figures is a testament to the creativity and endurance of those who crafted them. These chalk figures are not just giant artworks. They are stories etched into the landscape, waiting for us to discover them. Thank you for joining me, Sandeep, on this journey. Until next time, happy exploring.